some monthly lights and a couple of places of Cotsway. And then we're going to do some like changes as well. I've got five to change that failed last time. So I've got to change them and make sure they work. And then I've got to go to a residential home. We do fire alarm, extinguishers and lights there as well. It's not working. Because it's not on, completely dead. I need to change the light completely. We used to do like change the battery on the bowl. But it's just better if you just change the whole fitting because they are old anyway. So if they got a brand new one, LED chimes more light. So we'll knock that one down and put a new one. So you can take a picture, which is what I normally do in case you forget. But it's always best to do that. Obviously, so we don't need any sheets or anything like that, so it should shine brighter. We'll put the lid on and then we'll test it and make sure it works. Fill out the lock book because obviously it's good to keep a record of everything we've done, and this way I can drop down what we've changed on the failed upstairs on the second floor. So now I'm going to update the list because I've seen changed one. I'm going to put maintained LED round and it's operational. So obviously we're testing with the fire alarm now, so we need to put it into test so that it will reset itself and we then can save the sounders because you don't want it going off every time you test a device the sound is going off. So we go to menu. And main menu. Obviously we want advanced user because we're an engineer and it gives you more options. Okay. okay, so now we're going to be testing the smoke detector to make sure that it works. We put the panel on test as you saw earlier. So now we're going to set it off. It should light up red and then we know it's working. Give it a clear so that it can be reset and then you know that if the bar actually goes off this smoke alarm is going to work in the screen. is done slightly differently obviously there's no gauge or anything so you don't have to test for that um, obviously you've got your horn you have to check that it goes up and stays up um, and obviously you've got your pin but what you have to do with CO2 is you have to weigh it without the horn on so obviously you also can't have the pin out with the horn off so I always change the horn first see it weigh it put it back on then change the tag weigh it So now we're obviously going to be checking the batteries in the panel because if there's a power cut of the mains, the fire panel is going to run on the batteries and if they're not healthy, then they're not going to last very long. So every service, we give them a check for the battery tester, check for voltage. finished off at Alexandra House, we've done their fire service, found some faults which we really rectified by changing the batteries, we've done their extinguishers and their annual light test which all passed and now we're off for lunch. So we've just done our final job, now it's time to go home. <laughs>